G'day guys, Adam from fishing.com.au So today we're going to do something a little bit different. In my last video I got asked a lot of questions about what app I use for bite indicator. It's, uh, it's called Fishing Times. And today we've got a four star day. The major bite period starts at about 12pm and goes to about 2pm. So we're going to test that out and see how good this app actually is. We're going to see how good the bite period is and if it is accurate and you know just to get a general feel for the improved bite time so we had a um, as I said we had a yak hunters comp and the bite period was bang on it was a four star day that day everyone banged fish for about two hours we're gonna see if we can do it again I'll leave the link to the the bite indicator app in in the comments or in the bottom of the description. Cheers guys. So I'm gonna be throwing a jackal chubby shallow rattling in color uvfishing.com.au. So I'm just gonna throw it at um, pontoons. I've got about an hour till the bite period is at its peak. I'm gonna throw it uh, at pontoons while I'll wait for the tide to drop. Then I'm gonna go and uh, just fish some boat holes with a crank and, and a Z-Man grub. Okay, first cast. We had a lot of rain last night. Really, really big storm. So I'm assuming there's a lot of fresh on the top. And we might, why, that's why I actually have the plastic rigged up. I've got a Z-Man grub rigged up just in case we want to fish the boat holes. They're not under the boats, they're more on the on the bottom where they've got the salt. I'm just gonna muck around on these edges for the next hour. No, not hour, probably half an hour. And then I'm gonna give it half an hour of fishing the boats before the peak bite period and I'm going to go into the bite period and see how accurate and how close to the time it is if at all it might not even fire but I am expecting I'm expecting pretty big things because why not why not expect good things don't go fishing and expect not to catch anything I'm going to keep an eye on the time and I definitely want to fish the boats and boats that I think will hold fish before the bite period and during the bite period just to see how much difference it does make. Oh, that was silly. Alright, so I'm going. It's perfect conditions today. The sun is a bit. I probably would prefer sun to create some oh no what's happening the sun to create some oh, I've stuck my runner I think I'd probably prefer oh, it's really tight now yeah? I'd probably prefer the sun to create a, a shaded side on the boat holes. So I'm just going to crank this pontoon. So obviously get the little swimming. Okay, I want to keep an eye on the time. The time is 11.18. So, 
I'm going to go for another, maybe, make sure my phone is on loudly. Let's see what happens. Okay, I want to make a bit of a, a bit of a run over to here. 1118. I want to give another, I want to give it another couple of minutes. As getting back to the bite indicator. When, um, when we did do that, the Akana's comp, it was, it was like a light switch turned and the fish just came on. It was unbelievable for me. Because I was fishing, um, six pound, I think I was on six pound. Um, I didn't get many bites early. I got a few smaller fish. And then when the bite indicator went to four stars at a specific time, it just, it was unbelievable. And, you know, there's a lot of people that disregard it and a lot of people that agree with it. So, you know, judging by my last video, the, there is a lot of interest. So I'm going to try and do my best to, you know, give out some information about it through through actually fishing. Okay, so it's 11.30, but half an hour till peak bite period, so I'm going to start cranking some holes and see if it switches on at 12 o'clock or if it just stays good now, we'll see, we shall see. So three pounds straight through them on Millerod Switch Freak, um, Diver 2000 size Luvius, and Jackal Chubby. We'll do that one. Um, I've also got a Z-Man Grub on a Millerod Brawler. Six pound, oh no, six pound braid, six pound liter. Got a good cast in there. Now, sort yourself out a bit. He's got a really good head shake. Really, I'm really tight because I, I think last time I fished, I was trying to get a snag off. But if I, if I, if I couldn't get a fish off that thing, he's trying to reef it out of his. He's not a bad one. He's got it properly. He's a good one. He's a really good one. I'm nearly locked up. Oh. My, net, my netting hasn't improved though, I must admit. Yeah, he's good. That's two, two misses. There you go. So Jackal Chubby does it again. He's a good fish. I don't, I don't think I have his teeth. They're wicked. Um, yeah, he's a really good fish. Check this thing out. Alright, get rid of that. So, you're looking at probably 33, 34 fork of this one. He's a good fish. Look at his mouth. Alright, mate. Thanks for that. Thanks for not going back under the boat. That was cool. Okay, so for me, I don't throw a lot of plastics at boats. 
Uh, I think it's because I can cover the whole distance of the fish under that boat. I'm going to throw this boat. Um, I can throw. I should have started at that end. I can throw a crank and cover the whole distance of the boat with one cast. Where if I'm Imagine you could drive a kayak, that'd be helpful. Or steer or kayak, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, I can I can get the whole boat done in one cast, if it's a good cast. But with a plastic, I reckon you need to do two casts or three casts at it. Which is for me, I'd rather try and just do it in one go, then move on to the next boat. I can cover more ground with a crank. But if you do a shock and cast like that, um, if you do a shock and cast like that, it makes it hard. Holy hell. All right, so technique for me, fishing boat holes, it's no secret that all I do is find the dirtiest boat, start with them, do as many boats as you can and accurate casting is pretty important you need to you need to obviously get the lure in the right spot and get it swimming as close as you can to the boat if not under the boat keep it in the strike zone for as long as you can and generally if there's a few under there you're more likely to hook a fish because they tend to fight over it and the more competition there is, the more aggressive they get towards the lure. Well, that was cool. Like, we haven't even hit peak bite period. So I've been doing a lot of, um, oh no. I have been doing a lot of um, boat holes in my videos lately. It's just something I'm really comfortable doing. You know, you sort of get a, um, you sort of get a, I don't know, you get your style of fishing that you enjoy, you're good at. Just trying to get him out before he goes. He's going, trying to go back, trying to go back in. So just reverse him out. They should generally, once they've got the head coming your way, they will come out. He's actually not a bad one, this one. It's a really effective way to fish, just boat holes. Once you get a good cast in, you just wind it straight under. Just slow roll it, yellow fin brim, don't stop it. You can see the results. I've, this is my second good fish that I've that I've hooked this morning. Here's another good one. Yeah, he's good. He's really good. How bad are you at netting? Rate yourself out of 10. Yeah, he's a really good one. He's bigger than the last one. There you go. Okay. He's long, he's a long fish. He wanted that chubby. Look at that. See that? Right down his gob. Now, this is the scary part. Look at that. It's good. Right down. Pliers are where? God knows where my other pliers are. Maybe God doesn't even know where they are. Okay, so I'll just get this out. Got it. Easily. Enough. Okay. Wish I had a measurer. He's a great fish. Look at the size of this thing. Look at him. Alright, let's see him go. Awesome. I just want to check my leader. 
because I always straighten the hook a bit. Oh, maybe I straighten it to be honest. And I took it out. The back one's good. Alright, so that's two good fish. Boat holes. Still have not hit the peak bite period. Which I think is great. So don't forget that you can dunk your rod into the water nearly up to the reel just to get it under the first first section at the back of the boat if you if you don't have it dunked under or you, it's not a deep lure it's going to hit just along the side of the boat and with all the growth on the boat it will get snagged up Just repeat. Look at this. Actually, the wind has dropped. Like it'd have to be the the chubby would have to be the would have the most tournament wins for a, for a crankbait. Have to. I don't have all the statistics, but I do follow the the tournament scene and how many tournaments are won on jackal chubbies is insane. Just the noise, like, the noise is unbelievable that it makes. So probably a good idea to go really light today because of the, the conditions. Well, there is a little bit of colour in the water, but like, you'd be surprised how, how much three pounds straight through, how hard you can pull on it. And I've said it many times, I really don't think the fish Bite as hard on straight through with a stretch in the line. Now doing it this way, doing it this way, we are um, like I hate casting on the on this side of the boats. I don't know why, but I just don't, I just don't do it well. I'm much more comfortable the other way. Another thing that's been really annoying me since I fixed my my drive is how noisy and squeaky it is. It's really squeaky. And I reckon once you're feathering it or you're getting yourself in position, you've got to be spooking the fish. Okay, so we've still got we've got 10 minutes to the peak bite period. So I'm expecting a light switch to go off and I'm expecting them just to start climbing all over this hook. This boat's too, too clean, 100%. Okay, it's a better cast though. No, it's a great cast. So I'm trying to sink this one right down under. And then if I catch one, I'll just paddle out that way. Oh. Did he not eat that? My God. Oh. Did I hit the rod? Maybe. Yesterday, I... Yesterday? Yesterday, I closed my... Twitch freak in the car door and there was a little hole in the rubber <laughs> and it went through and it didn't break. It was one of the best pieces of luck I've had in my life I think. You could see the rod outside the car door. We don't quite it's horrendous cast. Is it? There's fish on this boat. Oh, he ate it right in front of me. That was amazing. Ah, pulled the hook. Right, just watched him. That's what I mean about like a light switch. Like, when they're not shy, like, sometimes when you're fishing and you're 
you know, you finish your retrieve and they're, you know, they spook when they see the boat or they spook when they see the kayak. Like that fish then ate the lure, no exaggeration, two foot from the kayak, right in front of me. It wasn't a big fish, it would have been legal. But it just goes to show well, if they're if they're if they're in the mood, if they're actively feeding, they will they will eat. Just got to get the get the lure in the right spot. So you know, accurate casting is probably the most important thing when you're fishing a boat up. Like that, it's like really good. Just gives you the opportunity to do the whole boat. Fish just right on here. Oh, he ate it. Oh, no. So there's heaps of fish on that boat. Okay, now I've got a little bit of wind. I've got a bit of wind cover. The wind has actually just come up in the last, I don't know, 20 seconds. I can't paddle too hard because my cable's going to break and once it breaks no more fishing it will be it will be sad oh, there's got to be a fish on here like I'm overconfident there's a fish on here talking about what are you talking about that's better I'm just going to keep, just going to keep persisting with the yachts and I've worked my way up and I'm just going to work my way back down just doing the dirtiest yuck yachts. We are now in the peak bite period so unless there's a fisher cast I'm not going to be too convinced. But we'll see. Where's the sun? Sun's this way. So uh, really I should be doing the other side, shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I feel better this way anyway. boats you do the more chance you've got of catching a really good fish All right, so I'm now was pretty perfect execution wise and there was just not even a touch so I'm gonna think that there was no fish under that boat just keep rotating okay 
great cast. What are you doing? You're not going to catch a fish with that cast. You bloody ate it too. That's why you should always concentrate and not write any any cast off. You've got to concentrate on every single cast that you do. Because I wasn't confident on that boat, but it was a fish on it and he actually ate the lure. You never know, like, if you're doing a comp, you know, that could be the difference between finishing in the top 10 or finishing in the top 20. Nothing even came out for it. That was bait under there though. Okay. Alright, we're gonna drag this one under. Keep winding, get the lure swimming. Once it gets to that point, I'm gonna drop my rod tip right down. That was pretty disappointing. Oh. So today, the light switch hasn't gone off for me. I think I got the two fish. I have been getting bites, but I got the two. I've got the two fish outside the peak bite period. goes on. Oh, I probably didn't do that well. So then I, I watched a brim swim right next to it or right behind it I should say didn't eat it though but ultimately what you want to be doing is facing that way and dragging it with the current but I'm, I'm being very impatient and I'm just trying to fish on the way down as well the sun the sun's in a really bad spot We see. Okay. So far, I've done better outside the peak bite period than I have inside it. So I've got two fish outside of it and I've got no fish inside of it. There's no excuses on this one. There's no excuses at all. So I'm just going to try and keep it in the strike zone. I really should be in reverse. I think they switched off, not on.
All right. Uh, I would like to put my line, lay it on the line on the water. You just gotta watch your line when you're fishing plastics. And you just see it take off or tick. So, still haven't had a fish inside the bite period. Which I find very strange. In a four star day, They'll just eat it on the drop, and you wouldn't even have to do anything. But it just feels like they're really tentative. And they were less tentative outside the bite period. Perfect. All right. scary isn't it so by looking at that boat I've seen that the fish are not on the keel they're actually at the front of the boat so that's strange as mm -hmm. all right so that should potentially go with the current Confidence is down. Just, it's way down. Like I was expecting to get a fish a cast, and I shit you not, in that Yak Hunters comp, I was getting a fish off every boat that I fished. Doing exactly the same. It was still the same at four, four star day. It probably was a slightly different tide, but it was still pretty high. So it would probably be very, very close. So the, the bite indicator today, for me, is not on. I might be doing something different or wrong. Jeez. I just don't understand the appeal. Perfect cast. I wonder if that will sink though or a bit into the the growth. We'll soon see, won't we? Coming away from it. It's probably it's probably the only issue that I can see. It's not staying. There they are at the front. They're at the front of the boat. Again, they're at the front. Oh, that one actually. Sure. There you go. That's good. Even at 
it's hot today. I'm gonna get back to cranking in a minute. Let's move all that from the start. Okay, we're back. Back on the chubby. Not gonna stay out much longer. I'm over it. All right, crank a few more holes. There we go. Perfect. All right, ready? Go. Perfect cast. Another fish on the hull though. Where are the fish on the holes? Five period, my balls. Today's been horrendous. One more hour. One more hour, and then I'm gonna draw my conclusion that it's shit. Fish under there. There's heaps of fish under there. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed, would be the first thing. I think because you're expecting, you know, you're expecting a fish of cast, and it's been absolutely horrendous. Especially when it's, um, when it was better before the peak light period. But definitely the wind has definitely dropped off. Um, they're just like, it just feels like they've got locked on now. I can see the fish. I can see the fish um, under the hose, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have actually changed up lures and I put a um, oh sorry I put a Zingman grub on. There's a fish under there. Definitely a fish under there. This doesn't want to play. Didn't want to play at all. Okay, so an hour in. We are an hour in and we have not caught a fish inside the peak four star bite period according to fishing times app. Definitely, the tide is definitely low enough to be, to be doing boat holes, definitely. So I don't think that's the issue. Like obviously you need a little bit more wind, but mate, I've caught them in glassed out conditions on boat holes which, you know, 
I'm just, yeah, I'm just a bit surprised, to be fair. Where they eat that on the drop? So I'm going to do, I'm going to try one more thing. Okay. This is the lure that Luke Hay got big brim in the, I think in the last Hobie round in the Georges River. And it's very, it's a noisy, really noisy vibe. It's got a wicked vibration. It's just a quality product. Most products from Jackal are, to be honest. Most, all of them are, I suppose. All right, let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna be casting at the mooring block. I've done this many times, letting it sink down and just really small lifts. Probably catch a flathead, but we'll see. That's a good cast. So just waiting, watching the line on the way down, waiting for it to hit the bottom. Okay, it's on the bottom. Just really small lifts. I'm not going to stick at this for a long time because I have been persisting with a jackal. So I'd love to see if anyone else fished in this peak bite period from the fishing times app. So if you did fish the peak bite period on the four star day inside the, the period that they said was going to be uh, the best bite, I'd like to I'd like to hear what you had to say about it. Yeah. Okay, it's perfect. So I'm all for fishing the shaded side, but not if it's going to drag it away from the boat or the, the mooring block. You can hear him eating it. I want to crank that boat. I can't 
can't crank it, can I? Change the lure. So I'm going to throw a pass to get it. Alright. A lockjaw fish. Alright, let's go. You can see the fish at the back of the boat. Now, I've got a Z man. Grub. Surely they're going to eat it. He did eat it. I don't think it's... What is it though? Oh my god. Terrible. Yeah, probably come on the bite. Right, let's go one more. See if we can get his... See if we can get his mate. Another boat that I wanted to do. It's really dirty. I don't want to leave an hour into the bite period and then they come on in the second hour. Um, it could be just be a later tide, different section to what I have written in the in the app. So you've got to really give it a good go. And you can't really leave before it, otherwise you, 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 the information that you're given off isn't like 100% correct. But I did miss a fish before, I didn't set the hook. That was really, that was really poor on my behalf. I couldn't, by the time I saw the line peeling, it was too late, he spat it. Alright, we'll do one there, and we'll get one done at the back. That's cool. Nothing. Alright, a few more. That's better. That's what I mean, like, he swam out. Well, he didn't swim out, he swam off with it. And you've got to set the hook in time. Okay, so... He inhaled that. Look how deep that is, down his gob. That's deep. Can't even see the lure. Perfect. Little, little baby one. Okay, so that was the first fish inside the peak bite period and it was probably wasn't even legal to be honest but every fish that you catch should give you confidence if it doesn't then there's problems just lay the line on the, lay the braid in the water So it's dragging away from the. That's not good. It's dragging away. And it's on the shaded side, so you, you can't win both ways. You can only win once. into the peak bite period I've just landed my first fish inside the bite period with an undersized brim got it on a Z-man grub pretty much done here we've done the whole bite period the peak bite period four stars in a place that I'm pretty familiar with and I've had really good results 
So the results for me today were two really good fish before the bite period started and one undersized fish in the two hour bite period on the four star rating. So the only conclusion I can draw to that is that either I can't fish or the bite period was a little bit out today. So that's, you know, that's all I can say. Like I've, I've, I've fished pretty hard for two hours, or two and a half hours. And to get two really good fish before it and none in it, one, one undersized in it, it's not the best. That's that boat that I... So, I hope this uh, video was uh, useful and, you know, maybe the best idea is just to go fishing when you can instead of worrying about a bite indicator. So I'm just going to do a couple more casts on the way back into the room. It's not really a ramp, it's the way back in over here. And we're going to go. Okay. So, fish. So, fish inside the bite indicator one fish outside the bite indicator two and two good ones pretty unhappy actually to be honest all right that's probably one of the best casts i've done today it's just dragged it out eh hasn't it it's dragged it heaps far away over all right guys that takes us to the end of the video um, what I learned today was probably just to go fishing whenever you can and sometimes that bite indicator will work to a T other times it's not dead on I think there's a lot of factors that have to go in your favor so thanks for watching and Hope to see you all in the next one. Cheers, guys.